confused. Some people come to church without knowing what will happen next. Some people come to church without knowing what they could be. But the house of God, let me put it in a better way. The house of God is a place of discovery. That's where you discover things. That's where you discover the wife. Yeah, he discovered the wife. He discovered the ministry too. Before the end of this year, you will discover something. Thank you. You will discover something that will change your life. Can somebody say amen for that? Let me hear a better amen in the church. Yeah. You discover the plan of God for your life in the house of God. There are some things you will never discover in life until you settle in our church. That's why this behavior of this Sunday, you are in hot temperature. The other Sunday, you are in great tabernacle. The other Sunday, you are... It's not a godly thing. Settle in church and discover where your life is going. Yeah, settle in church. You discover things when you settle in church. Don't die... Don't die with the potential because you never settle down to discover your potential. Settle, settle down and discover what is in you. Can I tell you something? There is too much in you that cannot be discovered in one month. You will need to settle down so that it will come out and bless people out there. cheated. Don't be fooled to think that I, I want you just to stay. If it is not in wild harvest, find where your destiny is and settle down there and discover your destiny. I'm not, telling, I'm not preaching this because I want you here. No, I'm not that kind of a pastor. No. No, I'm, a, I'm not that kind of a pastor. By the way, I release people joyfully. I pray for people to go joyfully. Because I believe in movement. Any pastor that is complaining when people go is not a genuine pastor. Because let me ask you something. Every pastor, every pastor, the people that are in your church, they came from somewhere. Yeah, they were not hanging in the air. So I should not complain when people go. I should only complain when the devil takes them away. Not when they go. People live for different reasons. One of the reasons of leading is destiny. I'm preaching. <laughs> hey, I'm feeling good. Eh? I don't know about you, but I'm enjoying myself. Look at somebody next to you and tell them, you cannot take the church lightly again. Yeah. It's a place of discoveries. You discover you discover your potentials. I'm already number two. You dis it's a place of revelation of potential. Revelation of what is in you. Yeah. You discover what is in you. There's a lot in you. Yeah. Settle down because church is a place of discovery. You discover potential in church. Actually, many of us today, because of being in church, it's not necessarily this church, but because of being in a church somewhere, you have discovered something about yourself that you did not know. Is that true? Yeah. You have discovered. Can somebody say amen for that? Yeah. You have discovered. You have discovered. There is a part in you that you never knew. There is abilities in you. Number three. Church is a place of answers. It's a place of what? Yeah. Some answers you can't get it anywhere else. God has organized, you can get some answers of certain questions in life. You find those answers in church. Look at what the Bible is saying. Look at Psalm 63. Oh God. Thou art my God. Only will I seek thee, my soul. 
dusted for thee. My flesh longed for thee. In a dry and dusty land where no water is. Verse 2. To see thy power and thy glory. So as I have seen thee. Where? Where? God reveals his power in his house. That's why some churches are called power houses. <laughs> yes. Because it's a place where God reveals his power. Jehovah says, I have seen power in the sanctuary. I've seen your power in the sanctuary. What is the message? From verse 1. God, you are my God. I can't get enough of you. Where, where? I have worked up such anger and dust for God, traveling across dry and weary deserts. So here I am in the place of worship. Eyes are open, drinking in your strength and glory. Church is a place of power. Today, because you came to church, may the power of God manifest in your life. I said, may the power of God manifest in your life. Okay, now we can go to number number three now. The house of God. The reason why God takes the house of God very seriously is because the house of God is a place of divine encounters. It's a place God has chosen to meet with his people. Divine encounters simply means appointment with God. I was doing a study of the ministry of Jesus and I discovered most of the miracles Jesus did, he did them in the, in the synagogue. Yeah, in the church. And Jesus was fond of going to church. Actually, the Bible says it was his custom. It was his custom to go to church. It was his custom. Look at the book of Mark. Let's read this all of us. Want to go? Where? Look at verse 23. What about if that man never came to church today, that day? have stayed with his devils. Yeah. Sometimes God has decided, I am meeting this man this Sunday. And then that Sunday he is not there. Yeah. He misses that appointment. Let me tell you the truth. Some people have missed the appointments of God many times. Because you don't put God in your programs. You fit in the program of God. I will say it again. You don't decide when God will visit you. It is God who decides the day. And if you are not there that day, he will continue with his own program. Yeah. Can you imagine if this man was not in church that day? He would have remained bound. Yeah. Look at chapter 3, verse 1 of the same Mark. Chapter 3, verse 1. Just read one to go. What about if that man gave excuses of his hand and he said, my hand is bad, I would go to church. It would have remained that way. I'm trying to show you. Church is a place where God makes appointments with his people. Yeah. If he would have missed the church that day, he would have remained with his problem. Not because God did not want to solve his problem. It's because he was not available in the house of God. All these people and many others, you will see that if you read the, the, God, the four gospels, you will realize that most of the miracles that Jesus did, he did them in the church, in the synagogue. In the church. Because that is his order. The church is a place of God meeting with people. God meeting with these people. The church. Uh -huh. Write this. 
I'm closing now. Church is a place of exchange. Church is where exchange transactions take place. Biashara ya mabandilishano. Unakuja kanisani na magonjwa. Anasema wiyache, wende na afya. It's a place of exchange. Church is a place. You come with heaviness. You leave heaviness here. And you walk free. Yeah. Church is a place. You come depressed. And you leave depression here. And go home with joy. Because it is a place of exchange. I decree in the name of Jesus. Anything that you came with you today. That is not a blessing. That is not encouraging your life. May it drop down here in the house of God and carry something of God. Carry the joy of the Lord. Carry the strength of God. Of God. Carry the peace from God. Church is a place of a change. That's why he says, come unto me. Jesus says, come unto me. You that are carrying burdens. of God, you don't go home with burden. It's not correct for you to come with depression and go home with depression. It's not correct for you to come to church with the heaviness and you go home with the heaviness. It's not in order. Church is a place of exchange. You leave your things, you pick the things of God. That's why God has made church is agent of change. It's a place of exchange. As you live here today, you are carrying something of God. Yeah. And you are dropping something that is not a blessing. Yeah. Yeah. Can I tell you something? As long as you came to church today, you will not go home with your heaviness. Yeah. Your amen is, is, is really yeah. trying. But I said, you will not go home with your troubles. You have come to the house where exchanges take place. May you drop your trouble and go home with the peace from God. It's a place of exchange. Yes. Let's begin taking church seriously. Let's not be Pharisees. Those who believe they do it because it is on a certain day. We don't worship the day. We worship the God of the day. Yeah. We don't value the place. We value what happens in the place. It's a place of exchange. You see, as I'm talking to you right now, there are some exchanges that are taking place. Don't greet somebody and tell them all oh, your burdens. You are leaving them here. And you are going with the freedom. Yeah, it's a place of exchange. Write this also. Church is a place of help. It's a place of what? divine help. Now look at what the Bible is saying. In Psalms 18. Let's read this all of us. Let's move on. You see, let me tell you something. I want you to understand something in verse 6. 
He said, I cried. He is saying, I cried because I had the problems. Nobody just cries. Just like that. And he is saying, when I cried to God from the church, from the temple, he earned me. It's a place of heaven. Actually, there's a scripture. I don't remember the scripture. Maybe you can look for it. That says that he will send help from the sanctuary. I believe it should be in the book of Psalms, but I don't remember what chapter. He will send help. Is it verse 2? Send the help. From where? From where? So this is a place of help. So today you are going home with the help. Can I tell you something? As long as you are committed to God and you are committed to church, you cannot be helpless. You cannot be. You cannot be helpless. Can I tell you something? Begin, I'm, I'm not against neighbors. It's good to have good neighbors. But value church more than you value neighbors. Because from church you can get what you can't get from neighbors. I'm telling you. Value church. 